Wahoo! Wow! Going from the right atrium to the right ventricle, that was a great trip! Are we there? Am I done? You're doing great, given that this is your first trip through the heart, red blood cell, but there's a long way to go. We now have to go from the right ventricle through the pulmonary trunk. Before you know which way to go, we need to explain the actions of two heart valves that occur in the QRS complex of the cardiac cycle. That's right. Now, up until this point in the cardiac cycle, the right ventricle has had low pressure because the muscle in the walls of the right ventricle, in the myocardium, this muscle has not been contracting. But starting in the QRS complex, this muscle begins to uh, contract and the pressure in the right ventricle is going to increase and you are going to feel this big push to go to somewhere where there's low pressure. Go to an area of low pressure? That's easy. Why don't I just go back to the right atrium where I just came from? That's got low pressure now. Well, yes, I'd see where you would think that. But that's actually the wrong way. And that tricuspid valve, the right AV valve, in the QRS complex, it's going to close to stop you from going that way. You might even start in that direction and then when you're forced to redirect yourself, swirl around a little bit, helping to contribute to the first heart sound, the lub. But in any case, you won't be going back to the right atrium. That is a bit confusing. But in another split second, at the end of the QRS complex, the other valve uh, from the right ventricle will open, the pulmonary semilunar valve, which is located at the bottom of the pulmonary trunk. When this valve opens, this allows blood to go from the right ventricle, which now has a higher pressure, into the pulmonary trunk, which has a lower pressure. So that's how we will be exiting the right ventricle. We. Oh, I see. The pulmonary semilunar valve has opened, and now I can go into this tube, this pulmonary trunk, which exits the right ventricle. Where do we go from here? The pulmonary trunk is a short tube, which will then branch into the left and right pulmonary arteries. The left pulmonary artery goes to the left lung, and the right pulmonary artery goes to the right lung. All right. Given that this is my first trip around the cardiovascular system, I've never been to the lungs before. What happens there? Great question. This is something that you should know because you're a red blood cell. Your main reason for existing is because you are full of a protein called hemoglobin, which can bind oxygen gas and transport it from the lungs to the tissues of the body which need this oxygen gas. Right now, you don't have your full capacity of oxygen bound to your hemoglobin. So you're being sent to the lungs where the oxygen gas, which has been inhaled through the respiratory system, can diffuse and bind to your hemoglobin so that you can then carry this oxygen to the tissues that need it. Once you have oxygen bound to your hemoglobin molecules, we'll be ready to discuss the next leg of your journey through the circulatory system.